Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting with Bella. I am back and I hope that you guys had some wonderful holidays. I was gone for some time. I was working so that's the reason why I didn't make videos. I decided to take some time off. But I'm back and I hope that this year I can actually make more videos for you guys and have a schedule like uploading every Tuesday and Thursday. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. I don't want to bore you guys because I do like to talk. <laughs> So let's get started with today's video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this mini corsage and you guys could use this for the father to be, the grandparents to be, or even the little brother or sister to be. So this little mini corsage measures 6 inches tall by 5 inches wide. This one right here and the one that I'll be making today is going to be a bumblebee theme. And I'm using this ribbon and this one is 5 8 wide. I'm using this bumblebee one and this one is 3 8 wide. And then this other one that's 3 8 wide as well. I'm using some scissors, a lighter, a glue gun, a needle and some thread. And then I'm using a pin. I bought this at a crafting store in downtown. And I'm using this piece of felt here and I want to show you guys the package that I have. I got this on Amazon and it comes in three different sizes. So this one is two, then it comes with this one that's a one and a half and then this tiny one that's one, one inch. So I forgot how much this was but, and then to decorate. So I still don't know if I'm going to use this sunflower. And I bought this at a crafting store in downtown. And it was, I think, a dollar something for nine pieces. And if I do decide to use that, um, I'll probably use this. Let me show you guys really quick. This one here. So if I don't use that, I also have this here that I made with the Cricut machine. And it's this cute little bumblebee. So that's it for the materials. Now let's get started. So I'm going to cut four pieces of the white, of the black and white stitch ribbon. So I'm going to cut the edges like this to give it that fishtail look and I'm going to use the lighter to seal the edges so I'm going to cut four pieces I have three here to measure two inches so I have the four ready and then I'm going to cut Two of these then measure four inches and then I'm just gonna use my glue gun where I'm gonna seal the ends. I'm gonna use the glue gun to make a loop. So I have that ready. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut two more to measure two inches and then I'm just gonna cut the edges like this in an angle I'm gonna seal the ends I'm gonna cut another one and this one I'm gonna cut it in an angle as well So I have that ready. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this three loop bow. And I still need practice. So bear with me and I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain. So you're going to grab your ribbon and you're going to make a bow. And you want to make sure that they're the same size. Then you're going to grab this side of the ribbon and you're going to make another loop. And I always make sure that they're about the same size. And then you're just going to bring this back here and make another loop. So now I have four loops. So I need two more. So I'm going to do the other one like this. So I have three on one side and then I'm going to bring the last one back to the front. I'm 
gonna grab the needle and I'm gonna um, put the thread and the ribbon just make sure you get all the ribbon and then I'm gonna grab the thread and I'm just gonna go around the bow and then I'm just gonna pull the rib the the thread and I'm gonna go around a couple more times just to make sure that it fall apart so then I'm gonna pull it again and I'm gonna grab the needle and I'm just gonna my needle again in here and thread I don't have a lot so I don't have a lot of thread left but you want to make sure you have enough just so that you can go in here and make a little knot just to make sure that your thread doesn't come off and then I'm gonna grab the scissors and I'm gonna cut the thread And then you just want to cut this piece off and then this one as well so I hope you guys were able to understand what I just did and I think I do have another video on my Facebook where I did this so if you guys want to go and look at that video maybe it's explained better so I'm not gonna use that one because I didn't do it as good as this one I still need practice as you guys see which I should be practicing and doing this but it's not that bad but I'm not gonna use that one I'm gonna use this one here okay, so now all we need to do is just to assemble the corsage so I'm gonna grab my felt and I'm gonna start with the black ribbon so you want to add a little bit of blue and you want to put this one in the center Then you grab your other two and you want to put them on the sides So you guys could do this longer too, it doesn't have to be 2 inches, you guys can make it maybe um, 3 or 4 inches long, so it could look longer, but it's up to you guys. And then I'm just going to grab the 3 loop bow that I have here, I'm going to add some glue. And I'm going to glue it in the center. So now I got to add the center of the croissant and I still don't know what I'm going to use so let me show you guys how it will look so I'm first going to show you guys the bumblebee I'm going to use this double sided um, dot adhesive dot so I won't permanently glue the bumblebee on the croissant and then I'll have trouble taking it off so this is how it will look with the bumblebee and then let me show you guys with the flower and then this one I am going to glue it so I'm going to cut the, the stem off a little bit shorter so it won't be popping out too much and I'm going to add some glue back here then I'm going to grab the bumblebee and I'm going to glue it on the center of the flower There you go. And now the last thing to do is just to add the pin in the back. I'm gonna add some glue. So you wanna make sure you add enough glue back here. And then just put it on the center. And we are done. So I hope you guys like this ideas. 
this one is a bit smaller this one is this one is five inches by four inches long and then this one is six inches long by five inches wide so I hope you guys like this ideas if you guys did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you guys like my ideas and would like to purchase them you guys can also visit my Etsy shop and you guys could find me there under Bella's crafting shop so again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye